Hello people, this is Gulal and today's video it's all about patching your EC2 instances. I'm gonna talk about Patch Manager. It's one of the system managers feature that allows you to patch your instances within the AWS. You could automate the whole process and you know you'd have never need to touch your instances. So how does this patch manager work? So patch manager essentially works with other services too in the background like run command, uh, AWS document, state manager, but there are two components that you want to be aware of while you were talking about patch manager. All that stuff happens in the background, but the two important components are patching baseline and patch groups. Patching baseline is essentially the instructions that you send to your node and tells that, hey, I want you to have these updates applied or installed on you. And then node looks into itself, check, oh, okay, do I have this updates installed? Be like, yeah, do. And if it doesn't, it goes to its configured way to get the updates and then apply those updates. What is patch groups then? Patch groups are essentially tags that you apply to your instances. So the tags connect to a particular baseline essentially. So the way it works, so you have, let's say you have an instance, you apply the patch group tag and the patch group tag would be attached to a custom baseline or a baseline and so once you run the patch manager or patch now, it will get the updates from that particular baseline. So why would you do that? Um, you know, you may have an instance that you want to apply, let's say, more updates than other instances. You have file server, you want to download particular updates for that. You will configure a patching baseline, attach a patch group, and attach that patch group to the instance and all other instances will use the default baseline. That's pretty much the conceptual stuff. Now let's look into the examples. So the first example will be essentially we're going to do the basic on-demand stuff, on-demand patching. And the second example in the next video will be where we will build our custom baseline, we'll attach a patch group to one of our instances and the third one is a pretty exciting one uh, where we will take take a backup and then patch them so let's look into the first example okay so for the first solution we're going to use default patch baseline and we are going to do on-demand patching to do that i already have a some sort of a prerequisite setup all of my instances are set up and they are showing up in system manager and I have applied SSM a tag which has the value managed. You don't have to have this tag, but have some sort of a tag which is applied to all of the instances so that it is easier for us to reference when we will do the on-demand patching. So let's go to system manager. So all of the machines are showing up here. I'm going to go to patch manager, click patch now. And it's up to me what kind of operation I want to do. Essentially, if I just want to do the scanning, it's only going to scan if the updates are pending or not based on the default patching baseline. We will be reviewing what the patching baselines are, the default ones. But for now, I'm going to select scan and install operation. I'm going to select reboot if required. And you do have an option if you want to patch all of the nodes that are being managed in System Manager. But in my case, I'm going to select the instances that have a specific tag. So select that and type in tag key value. In my case, it's SSM and manages the value add. And you do have an option if you want to store the logs of advanced options we will be exploring that options uh, in the solution too but for now i'm going to leave it unselected and patch now so the operation has started so since we are scanning and then we're going to install the updates based on what the results of the scan are so this will take a little longer so i'm going to pause the video for now it is still, still progressing i'm going to click on the outputs on to see what's happening with this the 
patch now execution that is happening so i'm going to select association id but the execution id is the one that you want to click on association id will stay the same the more time you run it you could see here that some of my instances it has completed uh, most likely these instances are linux so let's look at the outputs of this ones so there are certain commands that get run and uh, the first thing it make sure that it has a right os system as you could see it's going to execute it again the command and going to check if it's a windows system or not is it a linux system or not if it's going to show successful for the sys systems that are not applicable in our case it's likely was a linux machine oh no it was not so as you could see it tried run the, the command but it did not work because it was unsupported plugin and as you could see it was most likely windows machine and uh, it giving you the updates on kind of summary on what happened so it's say there are 28 updates in what they were checking other were 14 and there are no missing counts so there are no updates so i just scanned it and checked it there are no updates pending and it just finished the command i'm going to go back to run command command history and that's the latest one that ran so it is successfully executed on other instances too the reason that you're not seeing that it took longer is that the machines that i built they were built with the latest ami and the latest amis would have the updates installed that is the reason that the these updates were quick so this is how you could view once the patching command has been executed I want to show you the baselines where it was getting the updates or how it was checking what kind of updates to install. So each OS has a default patching baseline. Uh, as you could see, Windows default patch baseline is this one. Uh, it would say next to and it would have a operating system type to. For the Windows, I'm going to select on what this patching baseline is doing so it is only installing critical updates and security update that had a severity level critical and important it is waiting seven days since the updates get released and then it compare those updates on what is installed on your nodes and how the updates get downloaded it's based on the configuration on your node patching baseline does not download anything it just tells your system what kind of update is supposed to have so yeah this is it for the first video we'll be talking more about the custom patching baselines and patch groups in our second video so if you like this video and want to learn more about aws and system manager check out my other videos if you like it please consider subscribing and like the video Thank you and see you in the next video.